Yo, watch me die. Welcome back everybody, how's it going? I hope you're doing well. I'm taking a uh, quick break from our staycation with my wife because of our anniversary. We've been married for 12 long years. Of course, I'm kidding. It's been 12 wonderful years and I will do them all over again. To talk about Skate Shop branded decks. Uh, if you're not in the know, uh, other than the uh, companies that we all know and love, uh, for the most part, Skate Shops nowadays, they'll have their own uh, branded skateboards much like they do uh, stickers and t-shirts and things like that that's just another way for the uh, the, the shop to make some uh, extra money on average a uh, a skateboard from a regular company would be on that 50 to 60 dollar range in which uh, a skateboard from a skate shop will be in that 30 to 40 dollar range but what does that mean does that mean that the the, the shop deck is less reliable uh, well that's what i want to talk to you about all right so what i got here is the uh, galactic g uh, shop deck and this is my local skate shop here in Orlando one thing that I really really like that these guys are doing with their boards is that they actually take time to uh, come up with a graphic and uh, it's not just like the logo off the shop which uh, normally in some of the, uh, the the shop decks that I've, that I've seen that's usually what you will get because they're trying to keep the price point low in this case uh, these guys do uh, one graphic they'll do one run and uh, once those uh, decks are sold then that's the end of that graphic so this was the latest graphic and i've been running this board for three weeks so i want to share with you my thoughts on this specific skateboard i also want to uh, make clear that before i started the channel i was pretty much just writing shop decks and it wasn't until i started doing this channel and these reviews that i started trying out other companies and things like that so i do have uh, a lot of experience with these boards all right so let's take a closer look at this specific board so like i said this is uh, coming from galactic g skate shop in orlando this is an eight inch deck uh, it's 31 and a half inches uh, long and it's got a 14 inch wheelbase so having said that to me uh, this board is kind of like a one size fits all or rather one shape fits all and I mean that in the best of ways. This, this deck is pretty much designed for anybody, which to me, that's really smart because uh, if you're only gonna have one shape, even though your, your board sizes are going from 775 to I believe 8.5, uh, if you're gonna have one shape, I would pick a shape like this and I will tell you why. It's got a pretty medium to mellow concave, which I love, it's great. Uh, I cannot stand super concave boards and uh, I, can't, I don't really like flat boards. So this is like right in between which is perfect. This is exactly the type of concave that I like. It's got a quite hefty nose. Uh, so guys like myself who like full noses will be perfectly okay with writing this. This is not quite full, but it's close enough. And uh, people that like pointy noses will still be pretty much okay with this board because it's nice and rounded. Uh, it, so it, this is what I mean when I say that this is kind of like a one shape fits all. Uh, I think everybody Unless you write something completely different normally, I think everybody will be very happy with the nose on this board. And that also goes uh, for the tail. It's got a really nice tail. Uh, it's nice and rounded. There's plenty of space there for your tail slides and things like that. No issues with uh, like scooping like 360 flips and things like that. I find it to be like nice in the middle. Uh, nothing really to complain about that. Now, the one thing that I find interesting uh, is the, uh, the 14 inch wheelbase. I feel like if I was making a board that was more general for everybody, I probably would have gone to like a 14 and a quarter inch wheelbase. Uh, I'm not complaining because I actually am a big fan of the 14 inch wheelbase, but I feel like if I were to get picky, uh, if I was making this board myself, uh, I would have gone just kind of more towards the middle, but that's just me being picky. Uh, like I said, 14 inch wheelbase, I love it. Uh, I should not be complaining. So the steepness of the tail and nose are pretty medium and that is the one thing that I had to get used to because when I actually go and buy a board for myself, uh, I try to look for a little bit more mellower uh, kicks. Uh, so there was a period of getting used to it. I was getting a lot of uh, ghost pops and I still am, uh, especially on my fakie and nollie tricks for some reason, I don't know why. Like my fakie and nollie, tri and nollie tricks are like this high off the ground for some reason on this board. But that's just because I have to get my legs uh, used to that little extra 
steepness on the kicks. I mean, like I was getting ghost pops on 360 flips uh, at the very beginning, but once you got used to it, it was, it was perfect. All right, so right now I wanna show you some flat ground tricks that I tried to film the other day. Uh, it's just so hot that I'm trying to keep it easy. Uh, but you'll notice what I'm talking about, the fakie tricks and the nollie tricks being so tiny. And that's just, you know, that's just me having to get used to uh, riding this board. But anyway, here we go. So let's talk about durability. Uh, I've been riding this board for three weeks now and uh, not only at the skate park, I've also been riding on really rough uh, asphalt and uh, so far there hasn't been any chips whatsoever. Even at times where I felt like it definitely was going to chip, uh, as you can see there's been some really really hard hits and uh, no, no chips, no nothing, barely any razor tail uh, which is amazing. Uh, normally I would get on this side, I would get quite a bit. Uh, but so far is holding it together very very well is in really good shape uh, no pressure cracks whatsoever and this is why i wanted to take this apart so i can show you guys which actually that's an issue that i've ran into with uh, what you would call value boards and that's not an issue that i'm having with this board uh, as you can see uh, even after three weeks uh, this board is still in really really good shape still uh, pretty snappy still a lot of pop and uh, to me that's great especially uh, you know with the little amount of money you spend on on this board, uh, that's amazing to me. And if I were to get picky, I would have a colored uh, top layer. I'm a big fan of having a, a, some pop of color in your grip tape, and that's something that I missed when I was writing this board. The wood is so light that when you have these imperfections on the grip tape, like it really shows. So when you have a, a darker uh, layer, uh, these imperfections don't really show that much. Other than that, I really don't have anything bad to say about these boards. I think they're great. So don't be afraid to try one of these out and uh, help your uh, shop, you know? And yet another disclaimer, uh, this is my experience with this specific skate shop. So I don't know where everybody else is getting their boards from. Uh, I know these guys are getting them from Canada. That's all I know. I don't know what wood shop or anything. They, they have a sticker that says made in Canada. That's all I know. Uh, so obviously that's gonna make a difference in, uh, in everybody else's uh, quality of boards. Would I recommend shop decks to you guys? Well, the answer is yes, absolutely yes. And you might hear the question flying around, well, by buying a shop deck, aren't you hurting the, uh, the pros or the other companies from making money? Well, the way I see it is that those companies and the community need the skate shops to stay open. So this is another way you can help the skate shop uh, stay open, uh, can help the skate shop make money. There's like a 50-50 there, there's some, there's some positive, there's some negative. Um, I always try to see the, the positive side of things, so you're helping the skate shop stay open, which is helping these companies be able to sell their other products. So, you know, I think it's great if every once in a while you wanna support your shop and pick up one of their decks, that's amazing. Pick up one of their shirts. That's great. And if you want to support your favorite pro or your favorite company, then do that as well. There are many, many, many ways you can support uh, the things that you love. All right. So now let's show you some more skating because I know that's what you want to see. So this is an edit I got with this board and I also have some special guests. So uh, check it out.
So, all right, everybody, uh, we're almost done here. Uh, so I say yes, I say uh, try these out. Uh, let me know in the comments if you've written shop decks before or if you are willing to try one. Maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe tell me what your thoughts are if you haven't written one. Are you have, like nervous of getting one of them or whatever the case might be, just let me know. Hit the uh, subscribe button if you like what you're seeing. I got many plans for this channel coming up, so I want you guys to be a part of that. Follow me on Instagram as well at Tony underscore underscore R-O-D. Remember to be uh, cool with each other. Uh, remember to, you know, oh, remember to check out Death by Stereo's new album, which is badass. But most importantly, uh, remember to stay young. Peace. <laughs>